Alright guys, welcome back. We are now on part 7, well, or I'm sorry, part 8, but more like part 3 of Soul Blazer, considering that we lost the entire progress up to this point where we had cleared through the first three worlds, so now we are on our way to redoing it. Of course, it's going to take a bit of time to go through this one. Ah, stop it. I already talked to you, I don't need to talk to you anymore. This place is a bit involved. Yeah, I saved myself a little bit. Of time. about how you can unlock gates in a out of order. No, that didn't happen. Okay. Um, because you can actually unlock one of her dancers before you actually unlock the uh, before you actually unlock the teacher. And if you do, then it'll just be a disembodied experiment floating around. See, if I had sealed this gate first, that mermaid would have just been a, a floating spirit in the water, waiting for me to unseal the, uh, the, the actual teacher. Now, you can actually afford to be rather judicious with your use of magic. You don't have to be as conservative as I am. I just have a bad habit of, I just like to whack things from my door. Because beating things with a sharp stick of metal is fun. Even though actually the light arrows I believe deal more damage than the sword. At least at this point in time. 
once I gain a few levels, I, I believe the sword will start dealing more damage. And also, once I get the sword for this area, the sword will start dealing more damage. size of the gem actually does matter when you're trying to pull it with telekinesis. The larger the gem, the slower it moves when you try to uh, use the LRR button to uh, tel telekinetically pull it to you. Alright, so we are done here now. Let's get back to the master so that we can get back to the shrine and grab the bubble armor in advance. out this gate first so that way we can just come in and hit it. I believe the plot relevance of the NPC you unlock determines how much health you actually get back once you unlock it.
1,500 more XP. Uh, that is our way back. We don't want to break that one just yet. about this is that your character has a very wide range for attack. So we need to go back there and get our power of shielding so we can survive the volcano.
let's go get our spirit of shield. Well, you know what? Sure. Unlock the path to the volcano. of chat feed. I keep it up in case anybody has anything to say. So feel free to join in. Let's go seal that monster gate over there. Forgot about that guy earlier. so I don't have to worry about freezing the damn things. Alright, 2400 XP to the next level. Good. 
Okay. Dancers, isn't that great? We can go back and forth forever. monkey idea. Why did I do that?
so we're almost done with this area. We just have one more island to go through. The lightning island. And we finally have our new sword. Got all the monster layers off of this place, so let's head back to town. Get our Thunder Ring, I believe. I think the Thunder Ring was in this area, wasn't it? Strike those invincible monkeys. Cool, we got two hundred and thirty XP left to the For right hand side. Losing track of where I'm going. Thank <laughs> you. 
I am very grateful for the respawning minions because that allows me to farm more XP off of them. Aids have been rescued. Good for her. Of course, we still haven't killed the queen, or we still haven't rescued the queen because we need to first kill that big stupid skull. I do the exact same thing. Magic player is supposed to help, but eh. Come on. 
All of you. Come here, monkeys. That's right. Okay, we are actually almost done this level. Good. Alright, let's go ahead and speak with the mermaid Miss, because we never did actually talk to her. Okay, so that's how you get medical herbs in World 3. Um, Alright, so we need to go and to lose dungeon so we can talk to the dolphin here. Talk to the last mermaid statue. <laughs> and it's time to go fight the boss. Soonish. What do you say? Oh, well, you don't have anything useful to say. Good enough. Do some damage now. Yes, being able to kill enemies in two hits. Much better. And I should make the boss fight go significantly faster. Yay, we leveled up. Alright, so let's heal right before we get 
but before we go after the boss. So we need about 3,900 XP to get to the next level, which is fine. Probably wouldn't have been a good idea to pay more attention to health. Aha! I'm good at this game. Um, there we go, this way. I'm sure there is actually a trick to fighting the boss of this stage. I am not aware of it. I'm pretty sure part of it involves not taking too much damage from the slugs and fire on the path leading up to it. Okay, try this again. Really need to pay attention to my house. Descriptive A Ghost Ship. So let's see. Yep, that's all. Alright, we have purified the first three areas again. Time to go to the fourth area, like we were supposed to do today, but kind of didn't. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and 
save state here. I'm going to take a quick break, and when we get back, uh, we will actually do the fourth area like we were supposed to. See you guys in a little bit.